This is a demonstration of how to do hair. We've got Mr. Clean here, and we're about to draw hair on our front view head. First thing you want to do, bear in mind that hair is always bigger than the skull. It's got to look believable that it fits on top of the skull. Secondly, you want to find the hairline. So you go for the shape of the hair and then find the hairline. How do you find the hairline? Well, here's that quarter mark where you go from front plane to a top plane and this is roughly where the hairline is going to be. Now, if, you're, if you watch the other videos on the profile, you'll notice that from the eyes you kind of draw like a heart shape and then that helps you find how the hair grows at the temples. Okay, so we're going to start with how hair grows on the head. If this guy had super short hair, you'll notice the hair on top of your head, of course, is growing up as if on a clock it was 12 o'clock. When you get to the side, right about here, where the hairline begins, the hair is almost totally growing horizontally. When you pass that point, it's growing downward somewhat, kind of like at that angle. Now, as the hair gets longer, the weight of the hair influences how the hair is going to lie on the head. And there's a general flow to how the hair looks on the head. So we're going to start, the hair is growing up, and because of its weight, it starts to fall over. This is how you get like the Superman curl in the front. So here it is flopping over into the face. But basically, it's all beginning to grow straight up. And as it gets to the side, now it's turning until it's horizontal. At this point, you don't really have to worry about it because it's all just down in shadow. Okay, getting back to here. Say the guy's hair is parted right here, so it flows. And if you notice, now I'm coming from the back. Why? Because I'm giving him kind of dark hair. And I'm creating a highlighted area in this section. Okay, so we're coming from behind again. <laughs> and... coming forward. Also this way you get um, strokes that taper. And now you're coming from the bottom to kind of join it. And even if you keep the paper this way, if you notice I'm still going from the back towards the front. Okay, so... And again, as far as, you know, hair has a, as a mass has a thickness. Always think of hair as a mass. And this would be like the underplane as it comes from the skull, as it's growing. And then again, <laughs> you're moving towards the front and you're creating that highlighted area. in the front. Now you get into a zone here where you want to have something happening. So you look at how the hair would wave. Same here. And therefore you got to bring in, you don't want like a big, if the white is reading as your highlight area, you don't want a big empty space where nothing's happening. So again, you bring some strands in and you make the thing look believable. And basically what you should have is, if you notice, <laughs> okay, <laughs> gotta cut that out. Basically what you should have, if you notice, is a highlighted area right about here. Notice it tapers towards these points and it's thickest 
towards the front. Okay, that's the hair.